Do you believe handsome privilege exists for men? Of course, like Chris Brown. What's an example of something Chris Brown has gotten away with because of his handsome privilege? I'm sorry, domestic violence. Yo, what's up, AD Team Austin? Back again, and today we are on the streets of downtown Orlando because I want to see how women view handsome privilege, if they actually think it's a thing, and how attractive does a guy have to be in order to experience it. So y'all stay to subscribe, and remember, if you want to see how attractive you, you got are fake eyebrows to women, check out my free those don't look like real eyebrows. Sexual market value calculator down below. Let's get into the video. All right, so I'm here with Ariel. Ariel. Well, pretty privileged for women. I would say like anytime women get shit for free, like when they should pay, but because of their looks, they get it for free. Like that's pretty privileged for okay. me. That, that's true. Has that ever happened to you or no? I would say so, because I feel like there's a couple clubs that have a cover, but I've never had to pay. What about for men? Do you believe handsome privilege exists for men? Of course, like Chris Brown. That man is hot as fuck. That man is hot as fuck, but he gets away with it. He gets away with it every single time. Like, I would jump that man. What's an example of something Chris Brown has gotten away with because of his handsome privilege? I'm sorry, but like, domestic violence. Yeah, so last question. How handsome does a man have to be out of 10 in order to experience his handsome privilege? 10 out of 10. You have to be a 10 out of 10. If you're not a 10 out of 10, you cannot get away with that shit. I'm sorry. All right. Chris Brown is a 10 out of 10. Heard it here first. All right, so do y'all believe in pretty privilege for women? Yeah. Mm, okay, we on a two-man. Which one you taking if we on a two-man right here? We on a two-man. Which one y'all Which one y'all taking right here? Me personally, if I'm on the two-man, if I, like, gun pointed to the back of the melon, I had to pick one for the two-man. I don't get to hear them talk. I'm going to go. I'm going to go with her right here. For the two men. What's an example of pretty privilege for a woman? Now let's hear them talk and let's see which one. Getting in the club free, um, drinks being bought, being able to like not having manners, you know what I'm saying? When people do favors for you and shit, just always being used to it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Is this mostly from men to you or women to women? I've experienced women to women. Yeah, women too. I yeah. feel like as, as a woman, we just have this thing with other women where we appreciate beauty and femininity. Mm -hmm. And so we always overhype it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now on the opposite hand, on the man's side, do you believe in handsome privilege? Not necessarily. Well, I really can't speak on it because I've never heard or experienced Yeah. Anything. I feel like guys, at the end of the day, they still get treated a, at a certain, like a certain way. It's, it doesn't matter. If he's attractive enough. Yeah, if you're, yeah, it don't matter. I, I don't know. I don't know. If, if you don't know, think about maybe a handsome guy you've dealt with. Have, have you ever given this man specifically a form of privilege or a role that you usually wouldn't do for the less attractive guys? No. <laughs> no. no they all get Rules for everybody? Yeah. It depends on how much you like them. That's ultimately what it is. Yeah. But is an attraction, like his attractiveness, a part of how much you like him? Oh, let's yeah. be real. Let's be, let's be real. Yeah, let's be yeah, real. Yeah. When you talk to somebody, the first thing that you recognize is their, their like, that's how y'all start talking in the first place, is you're attracted to their physical appearance. Yeah. And so that has to play a role in some part of it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you can fuck with somebody or you can start talking to somebody and they're not as attractive, but as you get to know them, you know, they're funny. They have qualities about them, about themselves that you just like. So, I don't know. I think physical appearance does play a role. All right, last question. And be real with me. Have y'all gotten any free drinks tonight from dudes or you wanted to do nothing with? We just got here, so yeah, oh, not yet. Yeah. Why I look like they lying, bro? Why did y'all look at each other? Or you wanted to Why did y'all look at each other? There was some type of communication going on here. That niggas didn't, you know, keep that shit on the hush hush. Keep that shit on the tucky yucky. You know what I'm saying? What happens in Washington, D.C. stays in Washington, D.C. We're going to keep that on the hot, hot. You're going to keep that on the hot, hot. To do nothing with. We just got here. Cow. Yeah, yeah. Oh, not yet. Cow. Cow. We've been here all weekend. We've been getting drinks. Oh, well, yeah. Free entries. Free tickets. Yeah. Well, y'all have fun today. I actually started on a dating app a long time ago. I have a lot of cap. From 2018, nigga? Damn. What the fuck is wrong with you, 2018? You and that nigga dick. That's o that's over half a decade ago. We're in 2024, about to be 2025 soon. Literally, we're over halfway through the year. Why do you recognize this nigga, bro? She's wildin'. I figured out there, so it probably wasn't me. I'm not gonna lie. I wasn't on Danny House in 2018. Okay. No. I don't know. It wasn't me. Nah. No. Yes, he fuck he was. He's the one nothing to do with this right here. 
He don't want nothing to do with this right here. But a nigga like me, you feel me? I just let it game. You feel me? So a nigga like me, you know what I'm saying? I just do it for the love of it. Nah, I'm just playing. I ain't going to do that. But let me tell you about my brother, though. He going gonna, he gonna to hold it down. I know you got pretty famous when you started doing TikTok. Yeah. Don't disrespect me. The man got 500K subs. Like, you feel me? I'm up. Like, I'm up. I'm him. I'm up. Just give me my money. Uh, I do okay. I do okay. The humble shit. That's calm. That's so tough though. Like, cause she already know. Like, she she already know what it is. So she like, oh yeah, like you pretty famous. She trying to downplay shit. Like, nah, nah. I do alright. Like for me, I be chilling. Like, okay, my fool, <laughs> you just be chilling. I were I ain't I ain't really listen, they ain't never had to I ain't never had to do too much. You understand what I'm saying? I just be chilling you for me a little just calm shit, you know, just to get by, you know, niggas eat every day. God it's good, you know, just play the just play the humble <laughs> You can't lose playing the humble you can't lose playing that card, bro. Yeah, I know you wanna be in it. Huh? Yeah. Like, I'm trying not. Try not? Do you think women experience pretty privilege? Yes. Yeah. Yes, for sure. Yes. Now have you both ever experienced pretty privilege to any degree? Yes. In what way? We get what we want. I don't think any girl's gonna say no, for the most part. Even if they haven't, I don't think they will. Just get whatever you want, like. We want a drink, we give it. You want what? We want a drink, we give it. Uh, for example, downtown Orlando, uh, we can go to any bar and definitely get in for free. All right. Uh, depending on how we look, though. Do you think with tonight's outfits, you're going to get a lot of free drinks and free entry? Tonight, yeah. maybe, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I low-key fuck with these pants. These pants is hard, low-key. Now, on the opposite hand, do you believe men experience handsome privilege? Yes. Yes. Yes, we do. Okay, in what way? What? You skip the lines. You think men? You. you think men skip lives? You. Yes. No way. For sure. For sure. She on this nigga's dick. Like you feel what I'm saying? Like certain shit is supposed to be. I'm not even gonna say supposed to be, but when you get to a certain point in your physique and your appearance and just who you are, like certain shit is supposed to be a layup. You know what I'm saying? If you a nigga that scores thirty points per game. You gonna get that whistle from the ref. It's just the way. It's just the way it is. You feel me? You gonna get a couple. You gonna get an extra two, four free throws from the ref on some free shit. You feel me? If you run it, if you run the floor hard, you gonna get a, a, a extra six to eight points a game. You feel me? This is just layups right here. This is a layup. I've never seen that. I have seen you. You skipped the lines. Oh, you saw me skipping a line. I don't doubt that you do. You do No, I, I don't think handsome men get to skip lines. I think that's more, we have to pay with money. That's what I think. No, no. How handsome does a guy have to be out of 10 in order to experience handsome privilege? Seven. But if his personality is there, I definitely, he can, he can be a 10. Okay, what do you think? I, I agree. What? I, I think that you could skip the line. And if a guy was short, yo, shorty, this is not about me and you right now. Can you stay focused? Like I'm trying to work right now, and you all horny. Like, calm down, bro. Take it easy. I get it. You know that I think I skipped the line. I under okay, we get it. Can you have some d decorum about you? Play it cool. Like you don't gotta be on my dick like that. Just take it easy. Like if I wanted to crush you, then I'd crush you. You don't got to be doing all of this extra shit. Like, relax. You already said it one time, two times. Okay, now you want a third time. You feel me? Like, let's 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 chill out. Let's say five foot six. Doesn't matter. It does not matter. You... Height does matter. <laughs> Height matters, but you got it. Are you talking? Oh my gosh! Like, like shorty, shorty. Oh, me personally. Personally, yes. Okay. So would you rate me above a seven? Fuck me, yes. please. What would it be? Fuck me, please. Eight, eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Okay. What you? Uh, what do you think? I don't know your personality, so maybe a six. I mean, we looks can only get you so far. That's true. We matched on a dating app, though. You swipe right, apparently. But it was a long time ago, so it doesn't count anymore. Oh, I look yeah. worse in 2018. No, it glue up. Oh, you know. Every month, this Airbnb pays me in semi-passive income. Now, here's the thing. Semi-passive income. I don't income. own it. This was before you got famous. Oh, okay. So, uh, all you saw had was your personality and your looks. And now, you're probably 
Your ego's really up there, I'm sure. They got two different games right now. They playing two different games. I don't know what they want the end result to be. Like, are they willing to both go with this kid and see what it do? Or are they trying to make him choose? Because she's like, she laying all her cards on the table. Like, what's up? What it do? Like, crew? FTC. Like, she letting it be known. She's standing up. Like, I am ready. I'm ready to do what you want to do. Now, she trying to she trying to play like, oh, I don't know your personality. So, I don't know. You know. Who knows? You know. Like, then it's just like, you know. So, you know, we'll see. He's not. I don't think he's going to fuck with either one of them. But it's it's interesting to see how girls act around a nigga they fuck with. You know what I'm saying? Like, sure. I am the most humblest person you will ever meet. Don't listen. I humble. W humble. Say that shit humble. Huh? Yeah, you know, I, you know, first and foremost, like, I'm going to just keep it a buck off the rip, you know, because they put this microphone in my face and they asked, like, how did you get to where you got to Mike from NYC? How did you get a million subscribers? How did you get all this success? How did you get, like, how did you do this? Uh, first, first thing first, they put the mic in my face and the first thing I'm going to do is glorify God off, off the muscle because without God, tuh, I don't even want to think about it. I don't even want to think about where I'd be without God. You feel what I'm saying? That's first and foremost. Thank you, God. Elohim, Yahweh, Yahshua, Jesus. Like, thank you. I wouldn't be here without you, you know? Uh, you know, and, uh, you know, it, the word says, uh, if you deny me in front of your friends, I'll deny you in front of my father. So I just want to, in front of my friends, I want to make shit known what's really up. Secondly, you know, I'm just grateful to be here, you know? I don't deserve it. You know, but I worked hard. I put in the work, and you know, God has blessed me. Let's keep it pushing. I am all tonight. I'm sure I guarantee. It's a you. lie. I don't feel like you're humble. I, I'm pretty humble. So that's the thing. If he's too handsome, you think he's arrogant, has a high ego, no. and is not humble. No, he can be a ten and have a great personality as well. But it depends on how he carries himself. But how often do you come across that? Not often. I think I can say the same for women. Honestly, the more attractive she is, the more stuck up, the higher ego. I think so. Yeah, no, that's very true. I gotta go, but yeah. um, if you want, type your Instagram. If not, that's fine too. You crushing this? I mean, I guess like a little side quest. Like I guess like he like it's just like I don't know. You feel me? I I, I don't know how like you know everybody got different shit. Like if it's a layup, you know niggas gonna take the layup and shit like that. But me personally, like. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I feel like I like to work a little bit. A little bit. Or not even work, but stimulate me mentally. Don't throw the pussy at me, bro. I just don't. Like, even if you see me, it's nothing wrong with seeing me and wanting me off rip and thinking that I'm attractive. But stimulate me a little bit. Humor me. Humor me. Don't just throw it at me. That I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I'm good off that. You know, I want to be caressed. You know, I want to be, you know. Take me on a trip, you know what I'm saying? Make me feel something, you know? Make me think about shit a little bit, you know? Talk to me in a in a way, you know? Like, I don't want you to just throw the pussy at me. I'm, I'm good off that. I'm not going to follow you as long as you follow him. That's fine. I'm not stupid. <laughs> you still videoing the entire thing? <laughs> Regardless. All right, see y'all. <laughs> Whoo! Shoes and heavy. Oh, my God. But, hey, that's what happens. Listen, you see what I'm wearing right now, too? I'm not even really crazy. The face, they love it. Tyrone pill. All right, I'm here with... Nigga, what yeah. the fuck did you just say? This nigga started spewing some bullshit. Hey, that's what happens. Listen, you see what I'm wearing right now, too? I'm not even really crazy. The face, they love it. Tyrone pill. He must be drunk or some shit. He's talking bullshit. All right, I'm here with... Got ya. Woo! Hold on. Now, I don't, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say nothing disrespectful, but this is a stallion. Like, this is a stallion right here. Like, this is a stallion for real. Like, look at this player build. Like, that's not even really my type, but I just wanted to acknowledge, like, yo, this is a stallion right here. Have you ever experienced pretty privilege? I would say pretty privilege exists. Yeah? In what way? People treat you nicer when you're prettier or they want something from you so they feel that if you're going if they treat you kindly they'll get something out of you whether it's like a conversation or 
a sexual experience or whatever the case may be, they think that if they're kinder to you, they will get some kind of benefit out of it. Have you experienced pretty privilege tonight? I, I don't think so. I think that... Yo, what's going on? How many side quests are we going on? Get some kind of benefit out of it. Bro, I'm going to be real. Experience? I'm going to be real. Like, the two man is not fun if I know. If I just... Like, if it's 100% guarantee, it's not fun no more. Like, I don't... Like, bro, like, I'm not just out here trying to crush anything. Like, I want to have an experience, bro. Like, damn. It's really that bad. free? Like, this is a layup. This is a, like, layup. Which tonight? I, I don't think so. I think there's been a lot of nice people who have yeah. complimented me, but I don't think that that's privileged because I feel like most people will just compliment you if you look nice. Yeah. Now, on the opposite hand, do you believe handsome privilege exists? 100%. <laughs> Pressure. Have you seen examples of this? Or have you given a guy more privilege because he was handsome? 100%, yeah. I'm a victim of, <laughs> not a victim, I'm a culprit of handsome privilege. In what way? In the sense that I will definitely give a handsome guy more time, more of my time, or like, more I think chances. I'm pretty nice all the way around. I but need like multiple chances. I need chances on top of chances. I need more chances. I need another chance. Like, I'll definitely give them more of my time. Gotcha. So you make it easier for him to access you. Okay, now on a scale of 1 to 10, how handsome does a guy have to be in order to pr experience his privilege? I would say anywhere from like a solid 7 to a 9. So 7 is starts to moderately handsome, whereas 9 is you really handsome. I'm not going to be your girlfriend or anything, but we can like, we can hang. Okay. 9 is like boyfriend material. What'd you say? Yeah, I'm not going to be your girlfriend or anything, but we can like, we can hang. Okay. Nine is like boyfriend material. Tight shit, tight shit. Gotcha. So that, ten, I don't know if that exists. <laughs> do you think there's any downsides for a guy who's too handsome? Like, you know, for women, they say if she's too not pretty. If you're confident. Not yeah. if you're confident. There's no downsides. As long as he's a good man and he's a 10, should be straight. Now, how tall are you? I'm 5'10", but I got heels on. Okay. If you came across a short king, 5'6", five, 5'7", five, who was really handsome, same privilege? No, it wouldn't be a boyfriend thing. Just a, a fun time or a pat on the head? A boop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, so have y'all heard of... Pri Don't boop me. Don't do that. Pretty privilege? Yes. Yes. And have you ever seen it in real life or maybe experienced it yourself to any degree? Yes. No. Most people say that there's something called a handsome privilege, which is privilege for a guy. Do you believe that that's true? I believe it's true. Yeah? What about Definitely. you? Definitely. Now, why do you think that is? Like, at jobs and stuff. I got like somebody get half off on a meal. Oh. Yes. He got half off because he was handsome. Yes, by the waiter, and it was a female waiter. I think they have that in with the swim females. Now, do you think there's any downsides to being too handsome? I think so. Some women wouldn't want a man that everybody would find attractive. I know I wouldn't. Like, yeah. So your man can't be too handsome. High of himself, he thinks too highly of himself. Oh, okay. So you wouldn't want your man to be too handsome because he might have a higher ego than usual. A bit, yeah, he's not not humble, basically. Couldn't you say the same thing about women? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I would definitely say the same thing about women. That's probably why they go for the medium ugly guys, right? That's what they say. The reason. Medium, they actually treat you better than the guys that's not humble. Medium ugly are very humble because they know they're not going to get, I mean, a, a pretty person. I appreciate that you're here right now. That's kind of disrespectful, bro. I had a girl tell me that one time. She was like, yeah, I like my niggas, like, kind of ugly. I said, first of all, like, don't do that. Cause now I'm really about to start heating your shit, like, cause I was being nice and shit like that. But like, let's not let's not take it there. Like, why we gotta t why we gotta take it there? Why we just can't enjoy each other's company and just kiki and ha and kiss and hug and kumbaya? Why you gotta start talking crazy? But because I'll be chilling, I'll be humble, I'll be on some chill shit, I'll be nice. Like people think it's sweet, but it's really not sweet. I could really I could really violate if I wanted to, but I was like, you know what? It is what it is. Let me just get mine and get and 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 and, 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 and do what it do. Cause like, why are you like? I mean, I guess, but like, you trying to say I'm ugly type shit? You kind of you trying to say I'm t I'm kind of ugly? Yeah. Now, what if it's a case where the guy is really attractive, but he also down to earth, humble, has a good personality? That if it, yeah. It's fine. Mm -hmm. All right. But if they're not humble, then. It's no point of it. Yeah. Cause you you see everybody, you're getting dressed for. Attention. It's not humble. 
I was somebody humble. All right, we're here with somebody who might have experienced handsome privilege once or twice. Hold on, do you know what handsome privilege is? I mean, I see over here when I walk down the street, you know? So I know, yeah, I know what do you mean. And what happens when you walk down the street? Uh, I get attention. Yeah. Yeah, pretty, pretty much, yeah. I can't tell. Now, outside of the attention... All right, I'm not interested in this in this interview right here. He's giving me bad vibes. Off rep being like weird. He's like, yeah, you know, I get the dentin' going down the street. Ah. It's cool, though.